Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily sip of just the right tea. If you're new here, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to see you, meet you, and greet you. And if you are returning, <laughs> what is up, heard? All right, guys, so check it out. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. Yes, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a collective reading. No sign or anything associated with this. This is just a general collective energy reading. With that said, this may not resonate with everyone throughout the whole situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't place anything into your situation or force it that doesn't fit there. Yeah? This is also a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading. So whenever you are guided to watch it and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yes? All right, guys, let's get into this and get you your sip of tea. What's today's sip? Last shuffle. Right, here we go. What's today's sip, Spirit? What's today's sip? We've got the five of cups. It wanted to come out in reverse, though. What's the sip, Christian? Five of cups, the moon, the knight of pentacles. Two more cards, please. One more. There we go. Oh, oh, we got three more. Okay. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Well, this kind of... I, I could kind of already see where this was going when we... When, you know, when the first three cards came out. Um, but now this has only confirmed it. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I will say this, someone is following their heart. I feel like we're speaking to a masculine, uh, a masculine individual, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, if you, if you align with divine counterparts, this could be a divine masculine. This could be your divine masculine. Um, but this is a general reading. So you don't have to resonate with that energy if you don't necessarily want to, or you don't feel that you do. Everybody has masculine and feminine energies within. So this could either be someone that really identifies with the masculine side of the situation, or this could just be someone that normally resonates as feminine or has a balance of the two, but is acting from um, their masculine side or this reading, the energy in this reading, this would be speaking to their ma someone's masculine side. And the masculine specifically is that side from which we take action. Okay, we make decisive actions. We make decision that we make decisions. Uh, this is emperor energy. The emperor creates the boundaries for the empire that he and the empress rule over in order to ensure the safety, security, and the ability for the empire to thrive. That's what the masculine and or the emperor does. We don't have the emperor yet, but okay. Let's talk through what the car what cards what the cards are saying. We started with the five of cups here. And this Five of Cups wanted to come out kind of in reverse. Um, there is an energy of rejecting some sort of loss or some sort of need to grieve. And uh, this Five of Cups that is ultimately upright is resonating with this Five of Wands that's down here. We'll get to this in a second, but this Five of Wands is reversed. There's some sort of decision that either has been made or needs to be made. Either way, whether this, the decision has actually been acted upon or not, the person who needs to make this decision knows exactly what it is that they need to do. Specifically, I'm hearing the person that needs to hold a boundary knows exactly what they need to do and why. Whether, regardless as to whether or not they've acted on it yet. And here's the reason for this. We have the moon with the Knight of Pentacles. When the moon came out with the Knight of Pentacles here, um, uh, it felt like this is an energy of somebody being false or um, non-communicative uh, for manipulative reasons or um, having been manipulative or deceitful in terms of their involvement in a certain relationship, the effort, a time, attention, and energy that they have put into the situation. Someone is not being or has not been truthful about their consistent, committed involvement in a situation. And somebody has found out about that. Ace of Swords. Okay. Uh, this could be an energy of someone having gotten themselves caught in a lie. And that's how the other person found out 
or it could just be that this other person has figured it out using their intuition potentially with this moon energy and thus there is no more room for debate here we find ourselves at the five of wands there's no more room for debate in this situation um there's no need to hash it out there's no more to investigate or, or there's no more intel or information to be had there are no more arguments to be heard in this case there is no more evidence to be um documented or added to the case like the jury is in all doubts aside somebody has not been a team player three of pentacles in reverse the verdict is in someone has not been a team player and this Knight of Cups energy here as the overall energy, this feels like, um, well, it, it does have two feelings to it. The first feeling that I'm getting from this Knight of Cups is uh, somebody willing to move forward with their heart, someone actually loving themselves more, having coming out of this situation with a deeper sense of love and respect for yourself. I feel like somebody here may have felt something very deep in this connection and part of the reason why they are having trouble allowing themselves to grieve is the fact that I'm allowing themselves to grieve means or in 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 your grieving you know that this is gone out of your life okay this situation is dead and gone right but you felt something in this connection with this person. And even though this person is not right for you and you are going to be moving on from this person, you still have the memory of this feeling that you had in this relationship. And now you're seeking that again. Or at least the next relationship that you align with, you want it to have some sense of this, some semblance of this feeling that you got. This way that your your heart has been opened or was opened towards compassion, unconditional love, maybe even sort of like a level of commitment I'm feeling, okay, with this Knight of Cups. That's a very beautiful energy. In, in, in the most basic cases, this Knight of Cups just represents your own, your own desire or somebody's desire to love themselves more, to have more, garner more, uh, manifest more for themselves. There is a deeper level of self-love and self-respect that someone is holding for themselves as they come out of this illusionary situation. Now, as I was saying before, five of cups to the five of wands, these two energies are connected. And part of somebody that has part of something or an aspect of this situation that somebody is having trouble with is allowing themselves to get to the grieving process because they know that once they get to the grieving process, then that means the situation is gone out of their life and they don't want to have to let go of this. Um, and that's where the five of wands comes in, because if the five of wands was upright here, then that means there would still be an opportunity or there would still be a way to fix this potentially. OK, because you haven't reached the resolution yet. That, unfortunately, is wishful thinking. And, it, and, and the only reason it's wishful thinking here is because the verdict is in or the truth has been seen or the information, the answer that you were looking for has been received. Ace of Swords. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles again, and I the Knight of Pentacles with the fool. Oh, I'm sorry, with the moon, and I heard a foolish endeavor. What I'm getting from that part of that or that aspect of the situation is that somebody got involved with another person in, in which in a situation or who was very foolish to believe in, and that's really depressing. Not just for the person that seems to be a, seems to have been duped here, but also it's really depressing on behalf of the other person who it's it who has been deemed as foolish to believe in. That's really depressing, and that's not something that, that's not a way that I want to speak of someone. But unfortunately, that is the reputation this person has gained. Uh, in some of the energies that I'm feeling here, maybe maybe this is a central theme to this situation, or maybe this is just for a select few of you, but the individual that you got involved with has built a reputation for themselves of being untrustworthy or being flighty, 
the moon to the knight of pentacles. This person likes to likes to, to likes to front or likes to make commitments that they they either know they have no intention of um, following through with, or they end up not being able to follow through with it for whatever reason. And but it feels like that whatever reason is carelessness and irresponsibility. It's not like you know, they have some sort of bad luck or something. It's not even like they have bad karma. They are creating bad karma by being so irresponsible is really the, the term that I want. I need to be using here. And maybe it's that level of irresponsibility, maybe, because I do feel like something happened that put somebody on blast or like there was, there was uh, some sort of moment in which somebody got it. The answer was received. But maybe it's just purely that element of irresponsibility that is within this person to get somebody to fully recognize here that they've never been the a team player. And they're never going to be a team player. And they've never been the team player that either they chalked themselves or they talked themselves up to be or that they promised they would be. That's some tea. Let's talk about this three of pentacles then. I'm going to get into some clarification here for the collective. Five shuffles. One, two, three. Clarification for the collective, please, Spirit. Two. Oh, the other thing that I was saying about the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups also conversely feels like somebody's um, uh, emotional manipulation. This individual here with the Moon and the Knight of Pentacles, that the Moon and the Knight, excuse me, of Pentacles, that is coming across as wildly or horribly irresponsible. This is an individual that got that good, gets into situations. Um, for their own emotional gain, for their own emotional pleasure, sometimes their own fleeting pleasures. And either they get bored with it or the situation fizzles out or stops going in the direction that they want to go in or they that, that benefits them and they lose interest or they just dip out altogether because they're not getting what they want. This is a very selfish individual. This is a very selfish energy. But on the other side of that, somebody is learning to be, to be self-loving while also being compassionate to others. But that person turned, was the empath to begin with. This was the type of, and I hate to say this, but this does kind of feel like a narcissist empath uh, dynamic. I'm not a doctor. I don't mean to, uh, and it's not my intention to uh, diagnose anyone, but I will say that this feels like that type of dynamic or it's something like a, a, an empath, maybe it's better this way, an empath and an energy vampire. Spirit is saying narcissist or narcissistic energy. So maybe that resonates with some people more. I'll take it as it resonates. Three more shuffles here. Clarity for the collective, please, Spirit. Clarity for the collective. Can we get a little bit more on this tea? A little, some more on this sip, please, Spirit. <laughs> Spirit. All right, let's talk about the Three of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you here, I want to say this person was never going to honor this commitment to begin with. Whether they literally had no intention, like like it's one of those situations where like either figuratively or really, uh, but I'm getting the image of somebody making a promise, like making a handshake, a deal on a handshake, but their other hand is behind their back with their fingers crossed. Like that type of childish bullshit. This could be a con artist we're talking about here. This could be a bait and switch situation, or this could be a situation in which someone is just really that careless and irresponsible and probably wasn't even paying attention. I can't say that this person was fully paying attention. And if they were, shame, that's even worse, okay? But they, they willingly walk themselves into this agreement or into this partnership or into this relationship And didn't follow through with their commitment. And I stopped there because I really want to say they really like it, whether they were conscious of it or not, they were really, they really had no intention of following through with this commitment. Never. They never. That, and that is why it was so foolish or it is so foolish to have gotten into a situation with this person to begin with. And I'm sorry to be saying that to someone. I know that stings, but that's literally what this feels like here. Clarify this three of pentacles, please, spirit. Let's see three of pentacles in reverse here. Take it upright. The page of swords. Investigation. The investigation has been had. The intel has been found out. The quest for knowledge has been completed. Somebody knows. Somebody figured it out. Somebody got the intel. That is the spy type of energy. Somebody found out on the low. 
This was a type of situation where maybe one of their, when maybe one of your friends or one of your mutual acquaintances or whatnot, whatever, came to you, or you just you heard something through the grapevine, or you noticed something, or this, that, and the third. It was one of those situations where you like you gasp to yourself and you and you don't say a word, and you hope nobody around you heard you do that or noticed that you figured something out at some point. It's one of those situations. Like this is so deeply private, or this is so deeply underneath the surface that it's like. I mean, in some cases, I want to say it's a wonder you found out. But that's the universe at work for you here. Three of Pentacles. Anything else for the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Page of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Oh my God. Does somebody make a commitment to somebody else? Holy shit. Excuse me. Are you, f are you fucking kidding me? Did someone really dip out on you or dip out on someone else and make a commitment elsewhere? Did someone, f someone, f uh, this is some tea, y'all. Somebody found out that the person that they were dealing with has commitments elsewhere. But you see, and I know this is a general reading, you guys, so take it as it resonates. But generally speaking, for the energy that I'm picking up on right now, this is the type, this person has commitments all over the place, whether they literally do or they figuratively, figuratively do. Like I'm looking at the collective of this type of energy and I'm seeing all kinds of cords and attachments, all kinds of commitments made all over the place and promises unkept. This person or this energy, and maybe this is a collective energy that I'm picking up on that is that is being expressed through hundreds of thousands of people, okay? And that's why this is coming through in this type of form. And that's why I'm seeing like a big, I'm seeing a big blob of energy that is, that could be expressed in an infinite amount of ways or in an infinite amount of people that has all of these cords attached to it. In all of the ways that it's made promises or or made agreements and 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 just is irresponsible with it, can't follow through with all of it, couldn't possibly keep up with all of those. That's the type of energy that I'm seeing here. So even though this may be something that's happening in your life and you're dealing with somebody, they may just have one commitment somewhere else, but they're a part of this collective of energy, okay? Doesn't know how to honor a commitment. Doesn't even really know the truth of what a real commitment is. You found out, somebody here found out that really, and this was and this was it, the Ace of Swords. This was the reason why you were like, holy shit, there's the answer that I needed. And now at this point, it's no, it's undeniable. There is no walking this back. There is no unseeing this. This person couldn't, had, never had it in, in him or her to follow through with or honor this commitment, nor could they because they have a commitment somewhere else. Whether you found out that they had that commitment long before you got into the picture or even worse, they made that commitment to you after they made that commitment to somewhere or someone else after they committed to you. That is some motherfucking tea. At the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles. There you are, boo. And I know you don't want to see this. I know you don't want to hear this. I know you don't even want to be in this position at all. But that's exactly where you need to stay. Single, independent, on your own, and not fucking with this BS. The Nine of Pentacles. The woman on the Nine of Pentacles card does not have the time, attention, or energy, or patience for some low life bullshit like that. I want to clarify the five of wands in reverse next. I'm being drawn to the five of wands. So what do we, what, what clarity can we bring forward for the five of wands, please, spirit? Five of wands in reverse for the sip. Shit. Death, the page of cups, and the ace of swords again. Like, you can't make this stuff up, you guys. Overall energy is the ten of pentacles. And don't, don't mind that rooster in the background there, okay? But this some hot ass tea, and let me tell you, they are getting they are getting riled up. Hold on, let me check on that. I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I had to check on that because that literally sounded like homeboy was right behind, like right in my backyard, like right under my window. He wasn't that close, but like he was 
he was close enough for me to be like, um, can you back up a bit, please? Thank you. And he did. Anyway, so let's get into this. So, um, the five, yeah, the five of wands in reverse is clarified by the death, the page of cups and the ace of swords. There's, see, and this is part of the reason why somebody is having trouble letting go of this situation. Okay. Because this is a really, this is a really tough situation to be a part of. Either you are the type of feminine energy. I'm seeing a type of feminine energy that really has boundary issues. Um, whether you're, you, well, you both have boundary issues. You're the type of feminine that's very clingy, the queen of cups in reverse. And the other person is the king of cups in reverse. So emotionally manipulative, needing someone that's emotionally fragile, has really bad boundaries and is very clingy because the king of cups in reverse plays off of that, you know, is emotionally manipulative like that or has a propensity towards emotional manipulation. The reason why this is 100% completely over and there is no going back is because someone has finally figured out the other person's emotionally manipulative tactics. Page of Cups. Ace of Swords. Death to the days in which this person, this Knight of Cups energy, to be honest, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles with the moon, right? Right? Death to the days in which this person would be able to come to you with some sob story or come to you with those puppy dog eyes and like push your buttons or put on the hard sell or put on the extra sweet to make everything seem okay, to make them, to make it seem like they love you, to make it seem like they're genuinely sorry, to make it seem like they, they don't know why they do this, but they still know that they love you. So please don't leave or please don't be mad. Bullshit. And the reason why somebody here who does really, to be quite honest, feel very clingy, but the reason why someone is having trouble allowing themselves to step into the five of cups or the grieving energy is because they know that they see through this. So it's not going to work anymore. So you have to let go at this point. This is the type of situation in which you can't go back. You can't, you can't unsee it. You can't go back to sleep. And you may not have necessarily asked to be in this position, to wake up like this, to see this, but actually, yes, you did. Because even if you're not conscious of it, part of you, part of your soul wants to break this cycle, which is exactly what you have done. Ten of Pentacles. Life circumstance, life situation, situationship, romance, friendship, relationship, marriage, what the fuck ever. It's completed. It's done. The karmic contract between y'all is kaput. Finished. Completed. Okay? Do your exit paperwork and move on to the next. Literally. Last thing I want to do is clarify the five of cups for us. Clarify the five of cups for the collective case spirit. Damn, y'all. Damn, y'all. Yes. The sun. Yes, the sun. You got, you, you motherfucking right, the sun. With, stop it, justice and the six of swords. Y'all, to the knight of pentacles. There's that knight of pentacles. Again, the knight of pentacles in this situation represents someone's follow through, represents someone's work ethic, rep uh, re represents someone's commitment. A judgment call has been made or justice is being served in terms of this. Why? Because what you really want is someone that's going to be committed and is going to follow through with that commitment. And now that you have received the awareness as to just what kind of committed type of person this is, justice is being served in you moving forward. Justice to the Six of Swords. this stuff up okay closing oracle guidance is going to come from the love your inner goddess oracle deck
All right. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Three. Four. And five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for this collective sip. We have, all right, we have card number 28, Medicine Wisdom. In a reading, this card says, the Earth Mother agrees to support your wants and needs to help you live your best life and fulfill your dreams. Her generosity and her power to assist you is beyond what you can imagine. She is already leading you towards your sacred life purpose, providing exactly what it is you, what is needed for your soul to blossom, just as she creates what is needed for the flowers of the Earth to bloom. This is confirmation that you are on your sacred path. It may take some twists and turns, but you are ahead, or you are headed, excuse me, in the right direction, and you are being supported in all ways to gain all the experiences and blessings that are meant for you. Excellent. So there you have it, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this sip or today's sip. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to those can be found in the description box below. Check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. If you would like to get extra content with me throughout the month that does not appear here on YouTube. And if you would also like to uh, help support the channel, thank you to all of those of you who are a part of the Unicorn Herd already. Without you, I could not be here. And as always, please make sure well, no, I said that already. Oh, also, if you want to get a private reading with me, I am available for that. Check out the, the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email and let me know that you're interested and I will get you all hooked up. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next sip. Bye.